tragically in the summer and uh, Ian auditioned for the Kinks in late July 1979 and by mid, late June 1979 and by mid July he was on the road across the arenas and large theatres in America uh, touring in support of the Low Budget album which was of course a gold selling album in North America and the Kinks biggest album of newly recorded material at the time. They followed this through the 80s with a series of top 20 albums in America. The thing about Ian is that whether you're a fan, whether you're a member of the band or a member of his family, everybody will say the same thing about Ian Gibbons. He was such a pleasant personality, he was always an up person in life, and he was always, he always had a positive attitude. And I'd like Mick to say a few words on behalf of the band. I'm going blind on this one. <laughs> Left me notes at the dressing room. But, but um, I want this uh, to be a special, well here's a special convention this one, because of Ian passing away. And uh, <clears throat> it was all a shock to everyone especially the band, because we, uh, no one expected uh, him to just pass away like that. Anyway, it's left a, a void in our <clears throat> what we do, because it, it, has, it has a lot to do with the music side as well. And he was a great keyboard player, as anyone who's seen him knows that. And uh, to us, you know, we miss that part, but we also miss he was such a um, good companion and a uh, great bloke to tour with and, and was, he was always cheerful and uh, uh, it kept your morale going when you were slogging on the road and uh, we do, we're, we're going to miss him very much. So um, when you all think of Ian tonight during our, during our um, performance and um, just pretend he's here with us. Oh, yes, he is. God bless you, <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, and, um, this next number, this is one Ian always sang, so um, once again, help us out by singing along with this one, please. Just for you. Yeah. No. 